things you must do on your first trip to Boca Grande. Pet a random dog. Pick an ice cream cone while walking. Well, we already did that, mean to must did anyway. Take a picture of the sunset. Have a seashell scavenger hunt. Take a middle of the night golf cart ride. Go iguana and osprey spotting. Drop a penny in the mountain. In the fountain, I mean. Walk the entire length of beach. Go to the old concrete jetty at the south end and pretend you're at Stonehenge. Relax. Pancakes for breakfast it is now 8.48 a.m. and we're cleaning up before we take off for the day. You're such a good helper. Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? Not at first. Well, I slept good and we woke up in the morning and realized we're really close to the trees because the stern anchor didn't hold. But at least we didn't get in the trees. Neither did we uh, stuck in the sand on the bottom. So our water tank is about 130 gallons and 12 or 13 inches and we're down to nine inches after about two days. So we're doing pretty good. Because yeah. the last two days we had, pretty much all of us took showers. Well, three of us first day, four of us the second day. Water bin, oh, we gotta vacuum the water bin and refill it. Full. Here it comes. 9.30 a.m., we're leaving our little cove safe spot and heading, this is where we were yesterday, right? This black mark? Yeah. Blue line is our destination mark. No, that's straight up off the boat. This oh, okay. is the boat right here. Oh, I see, and north is that way, so we're going back up around this way. We're going straight south now. Yeah, okay. 180 degrees south. Going north towards Boca Grande. Glad we haven't had to do dishes and, and cook supper and stuff in this waves. It's a little bit rocky. I'm sure you get your sea legs though if you have to do all that. Like this. <laughs> I think she's getting sleepy and this rocking is one. Make her fall asleep, hey? And I. <laughs> nice pillow. I think my computer is trying to tell me to just relax and enjoy the boat ride because it's just not wanting me to edit this whole time. I'm trying again. In the meanwhile, the boat rocked her to sleep. Well, that was quick. We're already arriving at Boca Grande. Just kidding, Boca Grande. The pelican on number five? Yeah. Look at that one thing of flying. Clear. Oh, yeah. Look at the end. 10.24 a.m. Barely boating today. Only one hour. So we're staying here for the night. Yes. We're gonna rent the golf cart. We get to check out at check Honey, you need check in. in <laughs> check in the golf cart. <laughs> at 3 p.m. and then we have to return it at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Sweetie you can take off your life jacket now. We're staying here. Oh, she's sleeping. I suppose I can comb my hair and take off my pajama pants and put real pants on now, hey? We get to do laundry here, shower, and plug in our power and charge all our devices. And this. You gonna charge you too? And we also get whiffy. Take off your life jacket now. Turn it off. <laughs> you gonna come help me with the laundry? It's this way. Here. Look how mama. Como se encuentra la barra. Voy a secar. Vamos a secar. Last one was like 2.25. Oh man, there it went. There it went the other one too. Let's go explore for a little bit. Dad and Bruce are gone biking. Of course we can't really bike with her because we don't have a baby seat, but. Oh. And later we get to explore with the golf carts. Ooh.
This island must be connected to the mainland because this one actually has bunches of cars on it. The Sun newspaper. Can you read the news? Anybody, anybody? No? One dollar. Ocean! Wow, look at this white beach! She's not even watching what she's playing with. Is that yummy? You saw my gun. Mm -hmm. You like it? I just wish this was chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Look an ice cream cone while walking. We already did that, mean to must it anyway. Anybody know what this is? These leaves are all have little spines on them. And they're coming out of a tree with like roots sticking out. Anybody, anybody? Well, this wasn't on the list, but go ahead and walk through here anyway. It's pretty cool. We found banded tulips at the other beach. We're having a scavenger hunt. Rose petal telling, is this it? I think I found it. Ooh. Let's see, what's this one? Is this just a piece of a huge one, maybe? Come on, I found a quahog. I don't know which one is that. This is probably one of these big ones. Probably like that one, maybe. What about a purple one? <laughs> This is not <laughs> cheating. Hey, this is a slipper, look it. Yeah, see, it has a, a little hand foot thingy. Hand foot thingy. Ooh, yeah, look it, what did you find? I think it's one of these, hey? Here's our pair well. I think this is one Perfect. of these kind. Hey, it's another cat paw. Cat paw, cat paw, it doesn't have the color though. Hmm. Ponderous tar. Ooh, that one just has gross on it, I think. You can almost see through that one. Huh? Oh yeah, jingle shells. Hey, they look kind of like jingle bells. Christmas. Oh, I think this one actually maybe is a horn shell surrey. Well, maybe we didn't find them all, but we got a few anyways. Have a seashell scavenger hunt. Well, we're not in the south, but here's a picture with the sunset. Oh, it's so pretty. Take a picture of the sunset. Plug in. Is that the plugger in her? Ready for our Chicken legs boiling to put on the grill. Cutting up some maduro for frying. So look at Mr. Chef. Curly. Can't see anything. <laughs> Cooking rice. Cooking maduro. 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 <laughs> I'm terrible at saying that. Maduro. Can you say it? Maduro frito. Yeah, that. Put your color on. Oh, it's a pretty flower. We're gonna go take our midnight, not middle of the night, but it's 10.30 p.m. It's been on the, what's it called? Golf cart. Check that off the list. Take a middle of the night golf cart ride. 
It said listen to the quiet, but how are you supposed to listen to the quiet if you, all you can hear is the banging of your <laughs> windshield on the golf cart? Sam Murphy Park. We found the Sam Murphy fountain. We need a coin, we need a coin. I guess I get a dime, you get a penny. Did you make a wish? No. Wish for a fish. It's not a very pretty view in the dark, but wish for a fish. Drop a penny in the mountain, in the fountain, I mean. We checked that off the list. Now do you want to walk from the top end or to the bottom end of the sand beach? Walk the entire length of beach. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna do that. We already walked around a ton. Made of Boca Grande seashells, this bronze culture is a monument to the pre Columbian inhabitants of this area, the Calusa. Driving on the riches of the coastal waterways of Calusa, sometimes called the shell, Indians would create large mounds of shell. Remnants of a few Indian mounds used by the Calusa for functional and sacred purposes can still be found on Boca Grande today. Calusa stands here as a monument to these people who made this fragile bear island their home. Can't see his head, it's too dark. Pet a random dog. Go iguana and osprey spotting. We'll keep an eye out. Go to the old concrete jetty at the south end and pretend you're at Stonehenge. Relax. Yay. Everybody's watching me. Oh. Oh. <laughs>